How to protect a wireless connection. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. More and more people are opting to have a wireless network to surf the net. You need to be careful as a Wi-Fi connection transmits radio signals through the air, so if unprotected, it's easy for any hacker to tap into your connection and manage to locate all your personal information loaded on your computer. It's really important to protect your Wi-Fi, so here are VideoJug's top tips on how to secure your internet connection. Step 1. Place your router in a safe place. When installing your router, try to position it in the centre of your house and away from windows. The radio signals can transmit through walls, so you want to try and stop these leaking from your home. Step 2. Change all default usernames and passwords. When you first buy your router, the manufacturer will have set default usernames and passwords. These are well known to hackers, so as soon as you've completed your initial login, change both the username and password to something only recognisable to you. Step 3. Encrypt your emails. By enabling encryption, all emails sent over the network will be scrambled into a code so they can't be read by hackers. There are two principal types of encryption, WEP, Wired Equivalent Privacy, and WPA, Wi-Fi Protected Access. The latest and far superior encryption method is WPA, but if you can't access this, then WEP is better than nothing at all. See how to encrypt emails for tips. Step four, change your network name. All Wi-Fi devices have a network name or SSID. These are originally set with a default name that tends to be quite obvious. Keeping the default name can attract a hacker's attention, as it can be a sign that you haven't secured your network in other ways. Change the SSID, it can be up to 32 characters, and then save. Step five, limit access to the network. Every computer has a unique identifier called a MAC address. Your wireless router reads the MAC address of every device that tries to make a connection to the network. Routers allow you to configure the network, so only computers with particular MAC addresses can connect. See Video Jug's How to Find a MAC Address for tips on finding your MAC address. Done.